and the trade postmaster uh, bows and says, good, I agree to the trade. Let us both become moderately more wealthy because of this deal. Uh, I'll watch a scorpion fight, sure. Even Let's even bet on a scorpion fight. Maybe a few. You pay the entry fee of 25 gold coins and stand to watch the fight. The gates slide open and uh, two scorpions em emerge. Pincers snapping and stabbing. You watch as the fast duneland scorpion and wounded common scorpion charge in. Charge in and begin prepare to fight. Let's bet on the wounded common scorpion. I'm, I'm just kidding. The fast duneland scorpion will get 865 gold as the bet. Fast Duneland Scorpion leaps forth and hits Wounded Common Scorpion for 8 damage. Wounded Common Scorpion leaps forth and hits Fast Duneland Scorpion for 1 damage. And again. And, and the battle is over. The Scorpions fight for a while, but ultimately Fast Duneland Scorpion is the victor. Of the, from the blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You've earned it. Uh, you, have inform you are informed that your chosen scorpion has emerged victorious and you have earned uh, 1730 gold through your bet. That's uh, 865 more than your, your bet. You bet. Uh, you pass by a small walled pit surrounded by drunk and angry Easterners. As you near the pit, you discover it is a scorpion fighting pit with folk betting on the outcome of the fights. The pit has no gold currently and so is not accepting bets. Its total, its owners are offering to sell the pit for 10% less than the asking price. A total of 2,200 gold off. It's not enough off. Let's not buy it. Uh, mystery slaver, I'll let you look at it, but uh, I want nothing to do. And I actually, I do want something to do with him. Force a tribute from the man. We don't like slaves here. Uh, no, no. I've never done this. Let's have the man arrested for slaving. You have the man arrested and taken away. His operation is disbanded. Uh, uh, the again, this game. Um, his operation is disbanded. The uh, uh, slavers. Um, Okay, this uh, sentence here is uh, so much uh, of that. <laughs> uh, let's see how I can uh, uh, figure this out. So, Okay, okay, I can't even make fun of this. It's, it's too, uh, it's too uh, kind of off there. It's got, both got the period there missing, and the uh, and it's using the plural of slavers here instead of the genitive form. Uh, he cries as he is carried off. Uh, Ruins of the mystery slaver. That doesn't make sense. Ruins of the mystery slaver. Fix it, Sol Grenada. It's like. Who. What the. I should have the developer's name here at hand. Somewhere so. 
Let's see, does it say here the credits? Extras credits. Hugh Millward. Yes, it was something like Hugh. Millward! Yes, that, that's what I like. <laughs> That's going to be the uh, new thing when I see something uh, something a bit off. Uh, I I don't know if I even want to deal with this. Let's see. Let's see. Was there something of interest actually that? Um, The, these <laughs> ruins were uh, that of a small uh, <sighs> ancient fortress protecting a small trading settlement. I believe the settlement was a key part of trade between an ancient eastern empire and other civilizations further westward. How do you know if it, w it was a fortress and trade settlement? You could call it an educated guess. There are clear remnants of uh, fortifications, but it's not big enough to uh, be a city wall. So it would appear to be that of uh, some kind of castle or fortress. The um, other small ruined uh, structures, whose uh, millward, whose foundations can be vaguely uh, seen here are very small and uh, uh, w would be houses or shops thus my assumption of a, a settlement with a fort what destroyed them we will never know the stresses of the ancient times are likely differ from today perhaps it was a foreign invasion or internal strife we will never know does anyone else know this place? No, there isn't much interest in archaeological history here. I would say I know most of about this place and purely from my own study of the ruins. A shame, I would love to truly know of it is history beyond mere speculation. And <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, tell me uh, ah, I, ah yes this has changed he was operating not fr far from here but you had him yet arrested good riddance uh, is there anything of uh, okay let's look at this that fort, the Fort Gorthmek is uh, ruled by Yurik the Oppressor. He, Yurik the Oppressor, he has in his ilk have uh, been a scourge on the entire of, on the entire of Farad. And shouldn't that be entirety of Farad, since they took the fort. And, the entirety of. Mm, mm, the entirety of Millward uh, should. Uh, look, I don't know. Yurik the Orc has organized raids all, all around Ferret, forced uh, tributes from many, and uh, been an uh, all around blighter. The only resistance he had was from the artifact market. Uh, he attempted to raid it, but quickly learned uh, his mi mistake and left the market alone. Who was there before them? No one was there before them. It was empty desert. Uh, the orcs who built that fort were uh, rumored to have been deserters or rebels from a foreign orcish land. Why does the fort look so strange? It was built in the orcish style of architecture. We have never seen it in these lands before. Architecture weave. Never seen. Mm. <sighs> 
Tower of Histories. Have I been there? Have I... Well, what is that place? Okay, it is in the artifact market. Yeah, I know now. May maybe uh, have a look at about what it might be. Tell me about the ruined Great Wall of Ferret. Okay. So he begins speaking meekly uh, without a uh, without a um, what's the word uh, without a starting his sentence with a, a capital letter uh, the wall was one of the ancient uh, eastern lands greatest uh, th uh, eastern land <laughs> the plural of uh, lands i suppose <laughs> lands could be uh, referred to in plural but uh, whatever uh, Greatest triumphs and subsequent, subsequently greatest failures too. Let's see if he uh, continues here with his meek approach. Nothing so uh, pr um, ambitious has ever been built uh, in the East. It was a huge undertaking, and it would have taken even a reasonably large empire years to complete. Why would you consider it a failure? The tale goes that the Farad Desert was a rich grassland a long time ago. A large empire stretched across it with vast farming networks, keeping their armies fed. All was well until a curse hit, hit the land. A small patch of sand on a beach next to the Farad coast began to expand, and within a month half of the Farad grasslands had been consumed the new had had been consumed to the new expanding desert. Hmm. Ha! The Sultan of the ancient empire ordered the grasslands to be protected by a giant magical wall. The empire drew men in from all around the lands and the construction began. But as you know, we stand in the Farad desert, so the Sultan's... Uh, Apparently there were many sultans. Uh, their plans f clearly failed. Uh, they could not build the wall faster than the desert could grow and ultimately the wall was abandoned before it was finished. Then the old empire collapsed and the rest is history. I, I feel like this is one of my, at least one of my favorite uh, stories in this game how old is it ancient who built it an unknown old empire that existed in the east i just call it the old farad empire uh, do you really know everything well everything i am aware of i know uh, therefore as far as i can tell i know everything that that's enough for you. I think that's at least a lot of the in, more interesting options of uh, him from him. Um, Fort Gorthmek. So as you may recall from the uh, old wise man from there who knows everything that he knows <laughs> about. Uh, if we uh, leave this sta uh, in the um, in the hands of the orcs. So they will um, kind of interfere with our trade. Uh, we do have the trade agreement, even though it doesn't say anything here. Trading. Uh, so, hmm. eight hundred and twenty-seven orcs carries, and that, that is a bit much. There is something I kind of want to uh, see if I can uh, get to proc in uh, here. Uh, but let's try to ar arrange a meeting with Yurik the Oppressor first. Um, 
After talking to the guard at the gate, you successfully arrange a meeting with the ruler of Gorthmek, Yurik the Oppressor. Yurik is a large org with a horned iron helm worn, worn proudly on his brow. He looks unpleased. What is it? I'm Yurik the Oppressor, ruler of Fort Gorthmek. Hear my name and cover! Uh, I don't see that. I don't see him uh, uh, saying anything of interest to me. But um, let's let's watch an orc brawl before we uh, do. Shahuk of the guilty lands, uh, of the guilty lands, a hard punch on the uh, opponent. Uh, Mughak, the fool, lands a uh, light punch on the opponent. I thought at first that Lance would be uh, their surname, but... Uh, whatever, this game is sometimes like that. Touches the opponent with a fight swing. Punch. Bone-shattering punch on the opponent. Then there are some more light punches. Touch. Uh, punch and more stuff and missing bone shattering they they their bones are right now jelly from all those uh, bones that have shattered uh, shatter punches that have shattered their bones the fighting is finally over the winner of the fight is Shahuk the Guilty. Now let's see if I can get... This is the other way to attack the fort. At, uh, I don't know if I'll even go listening to him. But uh, the... I mean, if I... When I attack this place, I'll do that that way because it's the more interesting way let's see if I can get this thing to proc I wish we could raid that artifact market. I dream of a day where something happens and all the wizards leave. If it was uh, just normal people, we would have a field day. I can picture it now. We would rule the, over the market within a day. That wasn't what I was going for, but... Yeah, yeah, all sorts of... Uh, speaking tough and what not. Please proc sooner. Ah, here we go. We came from the Orkish homelands, far, far away from here. We were part of a large kingdom in a bitter war with another weaker one. The weak kingdom ha had managed to bribe its way uh, into our royalty and manipulated our royal council to end the uh, war. Uh, we were winning, but uh, soon after our council began uh, making strange decisions. Giving up land uh, and uh, handing over forts to our weaker ex-enemy. Collusion was obvious to all. Yurik was a war chief and uh, had his own uh, small army. Most of the war chiefs uh, uh, came uh, home from the front and uh, did what they were told, but Yurik refused. He continued fighting the enemy and raised a large orgish contingent uh, of people angry with corruption. Yurik's re rebellion saw the destruction of the enemy capital. Moments later he was declared an open rebel against the council and unwilling to fight his own kin. Uh, Yurik and his uh, remaining army cut their way out of the lands and stole a large fleet of ships sta sailing for far away. Here we are, here in exile. Yes. 
I'm glad that I could get that to Brock. And here's the great uh, ruins of the Great Wall of Farad, Farad which uh, we were told that a long winding story about. You approach the ruins of the Great Wall of Farad. It is said that the wall was built by a great sultan to keep the ever-expanding desert from claiming his fertile land. And here is the artifact market. We don't have the money to do uh, much of all here. Let's see here. There is, there is another inn here. Do I want to do this? Hirek the money grabber. Let's go talk to him. Uh, sure. Psst. Oi, mate. Wanna make some gold? 